guys, I never officially introed the vlog, so I figured I should go ahead and do that. But welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. So it is a Sunday. It's a true Sunday. We have been cleaning and organizing, and I completely redid, not redid, but just organized, cleaned up Sutton's room. So um, that took a big chunk of the day, living room, everything. Swept, vacuumed, I'm getting ready to mop. And also, if you guys saw in the beginning of the vlog, we were running our new robot vac, and I'm so excited to be working with Yuffie on today's video. We've been wanting a robot vac forever, and now Colin and I are like, wow, why didn't we get one sooner? They are game changing. So we have the Yuffie X8. It has iPath laser navigation. It has twin turbine technology that actually generates like 2000 PA times two suction so it is a powerful sucker like that guy we named him Walter that guy sucks up Murphy's dog hair Sutton's crumbs are just our day-to-day -day dust nastiness that collects on the ground it connects to your Wi-Fi it's perfect for pet owners like us it has such powerful suction power so it's increasing overall airflow by 80% so our apartment is always looking its best and it can also clean up to 57.6% more pet hair with that immense power of the twin turbines. Also my favorite part is it's guided by intelligently generated multi-floor maps. So the robot vac will know where it's cleaning and whether if it's on the first floor, if you are in a home or in the basement or attic, wherever your robot vac is, it will know exactly where it is. It also comes with an app and through the app you can customize your cleaning areas so you can add in no-go zones if you don't want your robot vac to go in that area. You can also connect it to your smart devices so we can say, Alexa, tell robot vac to begin cleaning and it will start cleaning and then we can also say alexa tell robot vac to go home and we will send him home to charge again colin and i are very impressed he's actually kind of obsessed with it and my husband was always very skeptical about getting a robot vacuum he's always been like yeah we can do it ourselves now after having it he's saying okay what the heck we should have got this sooner and i completely agree it's been a lifesaver especially with having a dog and a baby we can program our robot bought back to run at certain times during the day or we can run it ourselves um, just through the app it's so simple so easy and I'm literally so obsessed and also I wanted to share with you guys since the holidays are coming up I feel like it'd be a perfect Christmas gift so I will have it linked in my description box below in case you want to add to your Christmas list or get for somebody else it is truly so worth it in my opinion and it has actually saved so much time with it vacuuming for me than me 20 times a day having to vacuum myself because Sutton's starting to crawl and Murphy will never stop shedding. So I can't thank Yuffie enough for working with me on today's video. Like I said, it will be linked in the description box below and I'm going to continue with my little Sunday reset clean. I need to go make the bed, check on the um, sheets and see if they're dry and continue doing laundry and all the things. Sutton's snacking while watching Encanto just for a little bit while Colin and I wrap up some things that we're doing around the house. And my sweat set is from Aritzia. And it's true, Aritzia sweat sets are amazing. And they look so cute with Uggs too. I'll show you guys in a second. Sweatsuit with Uggs. Cute. Murphy's like, guys, she's on the ground. I'm gonna come right for the camera. Tell Walter to do his job. Alexa, tell RoboVac to clean. RoboVac Walter starting cleaning session. There he goes. Hey, 
clean laundry. We're gonna go on a little fam walk because the weather is so good today. It's cold, like in a good way. It's like 50 probably now. Is it 40s or 50s? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting her Gap little baby bear outfit because she's gonna be cold. Said mama, so now we're working on dada. Oh, I just Windex those. I gotta fold all that laundry over there. Oh, we can. Murphy. We cannot forget to put the trash out tonight. Woo! Ready to go. Yes, you're coming, Murphy. <laughs> I just got that on video. Ready? Dog park? Castan is positively prime evil. Did you know that? Thank you. Uh -huh. Tonight we have our very first ever half-baked harvest meal. Chef husband whipped it up. I chose the meal. He head chef. I like chef husband better. He, you know, is just such a good cook. I'm so blessed, thankful. Guess what, guys? Colin's coming with us to Barry's Boot Camp this week. Wednesday. Tuesday. Oh, God. I feel like this is actually a soup. Like, don't you need a spoon for this? It's supposed to be a soup. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That girl really knows what she's doing. Hey, good morning, Walter. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. I'm running a little bit late. Not like super late, but I'm kind of trying to hurry. I'm um, working out this morning at 10. Colin's got an eye doctor appointment and then he's gonna be gone for like a majority of the day today until later. So we are just quickly trying to get ready so I can go squeeze a workout in. And then Colin's letting Murphy out right now. And then we're gonna just have a day. But Walter is running. I've been running him once in the morning and once at night, and life-changing. Winner, winner, chicken dinners. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This for females. We got 50808, yep. 5,808. We tried to beat the boys. 
We beat everyone in our class though. Yep. It's the 5 a.m. men that we couldn't beat. Just showered and I thought today I could kind of show you guys like what I eat today. Not as like a eat like me to look like me, not at all. More so as just like an inspiration for meal ideas throughout the day if you're a mom, like quick and easy. So um, this is what I'm eating for breakfast. Before my workout, I always have just coffee. I like to work out fasted still and then the minute I get home, I make something to eat or eat a banana, but I showered really quick and I made something to eat because Sutton was still sleeping. She just woke up. So I just finished feeding her and um, did that while my breakfast was cooking. But lately I've been having an English muffin, the one from Whole Foods specifically because it is so good. And then also doing like a scrambled egg and vegetable scramble. Um, the vegetables are from that harvest um box from trader joe's so they just threw it away We've got like sweet potatoes and butternut squash this is the lid it's the holiday vegetable hash and it's near like um the salad kits and vegetables and trader joe's so i've been doing three scrambled eggs mixed in with this i take the celery out of it though because i do not like celery and this is what i've been eating for breakfast so yeah i'm just gonna kind of show you guys what i eat today but this is like a late breakfast because i took a 10 a.m class She's so close to crawling, you guys. We're trying to work on it right now. Look, she's getting up on her knees. Come on, come on, you can do it. And then she slides back to her belly. Camera's waiting for you. Oh, goodness. Got it. Yay. This is lunch while I edit a video. Um, I just realized I threw away the chicken packet too. Asada from Trader Joe's, white rice, and then sour cream mixed with lime juice and salt and pepper. I always forget to record before I make it. So some Mexican cheese, but I'm just gonna eat this while I edit. While Colin was gone at one of his appointments, when he came back, he brought flowers. How sweet. That was a rough one getting set down and then I had to pee and then Colin held her and she just lost it here's dinner steak tacos for dinner and guacamole um I have a video to edit tonight so I'm gonna be working on that but here's dinner I'm gonna taste and then I'm gonna record a sponsored part really quick and then I'm gonna finish eating the steak onions tomato uh Sour, yeah, sour cream mixed with lime juice and mayo, or not mayo, but in the cilantro. Mm. Yum. Hey guys, today's a Barry's Boot Camp workout day. And guess who's coming with Kayla and I? Me, Kayla and me. <gasps> this guy! Oh yeah. <laughs> On uh, first high intensity interval workout in months. And we're just going straight to Barry's. So this will be the true test. He can tell you for sure what's better. Orange Theory or Berries because he has no, like, he's he's got no, what, what's the word? Ties to either. Ties to either, yes. He's got no ties to either, so he will be honest. And my mom's coming over to watch the babe, the the children, Murphy and Sutton. Sutton's asleep right now, though, so when she wakes up, my mom will just give her a little snack, then we'll probably be home. Yay! Oh, Colin! <laughs> I was trying to work out. I thought you were still recording. No, Bestie's going to work out. He made it! Colin, what do you like better? Orange Theory or Berries? Uh-huh. <laughs>
Me either. Sure question. <laughs> Neither are my forte. So <laughs> there, there's Colin, my answer. that's not what they want to hear. Home. <laughs> I've showered and fed set. And my mom was over here watching her. And my mom also made us some food. By the way, it is the grossest day outside today. We were gonna go to Hobby Lobby, and we're just not, it's not the day. But look at what my mom made. I do have a big girl plate, that's for sure. And a Caesar salad. So excited look at what just came in the mail geneva rose she wrote the perfect marriage and also one of us is dead this is her new thriller it's called you shouldn't have come here and it's releasing in april of 2023 and she sent it to me so i could read it in advance i'm so excited i usually go for a kindle but i will read a book for her i just put something to bed. oh my god i look awful i just put Sutton to bed and I have to show you something because I bought something that's behind me. And I bought it. I bought it during, I don't know, the, everything was on sale this past weekend. Like, everyone was having a sale. So I bought this plant. Hold on, I have to like read my hair. Bought this planter for our faux tree because I've been telling you guys that I want a planter. And it's here. It literally came so fast from West Elm. Um, but... Colin and my mom kind of just made me believe that they didn't really like it. I like it. So let me show you. Okay. Here she is. And I'm going to get like some moss to go in there. And then this is obviously going to move because the Christmas tree is going in there. And then it's going to go in our bedroom for the time being. But like... I know it looks kind of big for the space because we live in an apartment, but in two months we will be in a house and it will fit somewhere and it'll look really good, I think. I need to like fluff out these branches some more too. Make it look more like a tree, you know? But it's like, I like it. I think it looks like way better than the basket and it was like originally 250. So I was like, wow, that's a good deal. Ignore that. Murphy broke those with Franklin. It was a disaster. But I think it's so cute. It's like a tan stone. <sighs> I don't know. So trying out Orange Clementine. Body armor sent us so many body armors. I'm so thankful. I'll have to, like, the other boxes in my car. They sent us two 30-pound boxes of body armor. But I'm just trying out this flavor. And so far, I love. I love anything orange, though. Hello you guys, it's me vlogging again on a totally different day. <laughs> or maybe in next vlog, I'll be good at vlogging. But Kayla and I went to a solid core this morning and we're going again tomorrow because I'm obsessed. She was gonna go to Orange Theory and I was like, I think I wanna go to solid core and she's like, okay, I'll go with you. So I'm just returning this package to Aritzia and then I'm using another Aritzia box to deliver a some or return, send off to the UPS store. Some stuff from Aloe Yoga. And also I had to resubmit a video because I had to make an edit, so I did that really quick. So now running in to make an exchange. Glamorous. Back home, Sutton and I are just hanging out. And we're playing with these, aren't we? Good job. Um good job. Oh okay. Oh thank you. Oh good, it's so good, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, so I figured since I didn't do her eight month update in the last vlog, we better do it in this one because we're halfway through eight months now, huh? Um, significant update is whenever we play Moana, which is like every once in a while now, she cries, like gets sad and is scared when Maui turns into a shark head. <laughs> she does not like it like she, yeah she truly loses it so when Maui turns into a shark head she cries and she smiles and laughs at Tangled like gets so excited when Tangled is on um but then literally balls her eyes out in Moana when Maui turns into a shark head and so 
other than that she watches miss rachel so and also she lifted her arms up and when they said how big is baby so big when miss rachel said that she lifted her arms up so that's cute and then she's like almost crawling she's now um like pretty much eight and a half months and as you guys can see she's she'll go on her knees sometimes but then she'll go back to her tummy um but i feel like we're probably like one week away from her fully crawling um what else has happened in eight months colin um. <laughs> She's obsessed with the camera. <laughs> she's even more oh, vocal. Oh, she's very she vocal. Says, mama. Oh, yeah, she said mama. Oh, my yeah. God, we haven't gotten on video yet, though. Wait, I'm missing so much. There's actually so much that happened. She said mama, and it is to call me. Like, she will say it when she wants me. She'll go, mama, mama. And she's always upset when she does it because she wants me. Yeah. What was that about? Oh, my goodness. Look, here. What if I put it this way? Um, okay, what else? What else? have you done she said mama she's so much more vocal she's Nature obsessed self. with murphy uh, blah, 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 blah. oh yes instead of me going like blah, 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 she can do it to herself now blah, 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 blah. here why is this even in how did you get that go and she can give kisses now blah, blah, blah. she will do it to herself too I know, I'm not letting you have the camera for a good reason. She gets pissed if she wants something and you won't let her have it. Uh, oh, do you know what else she'll do? If she's holding her pacifier and I say, ah, she'll take it out and she'll put it in my mouth. And then she plays this game where she like pulls it out of my mouth. And obviously I don't put it back in her mouth. But lately she's been blowing on Colin's leg. Like she'll go up to Colin's leg and go. She's starting to like kind of pull herself up onto things too. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's got so much energy. That's for sure. Sometimes she'll lay and cuddle with me, but it's very rare. She was doing it yesterday, though. Like, are her favorite lately? Murphy keeps crying, and it's making me think he needs to go out. So, or does he have any water, Colin? I, don't know. <laughs> I think he probably just wants to go somewhere. Okay. Well, anyway, here's a little Sutton update. <coughs> Clearly, you guys see her, though, in every vlog, so you're kind of, like, getting to watch her updates as they happen. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's so nice of you. You gave them a kiss. You can give them a kiss, I love you. Oh, here's an update. She will not let Colin hold her at night. She will only let me hold her. And she will only let him hold her if she is kind of milk drunk. It's the weirdest thing. But she can hold her during the day. It's just at night where she's like, no thank you. Yep. Oh, she's in three diapers now. Peanut butter's been added to what she's eating. She's obsessed with peanut butter and bananas and the yogurt, I mean, the applesauce things. Mm -hmm. A little set an eight month update and she's in like six to nine month clothes now. This is um, zero to three and as you can tell, well, the top kind of fits actually, but the bottoms are a little bit of a high waters. Actually, not really, it still fits good. So I don't know, every clothing size is weird and different though. But she is obsessed with Murphy still. Murphy still makes her laugh. She loves to chase Murphy. Here he comes and that's why she's smiling. I don't know, she's just such a baby now. What? Oh, she was just kind of doing it. Is that it? Next, we're going to work on clapping and waving, but she likes to hold your hands while you clap and then they go in the mouth and no teeth yet. No teeth, but you can see the little whites of her teeth coming in, but she never lets you look in her mouth. It's very difficult to look in her mouth in general. So, okay, that's the Sutton eight month update. Uh -huh.
go play tug of war with Murphy. Good boy. <laughs> Oh. Uh.